do him like Gaddafi. Antifa protester caught on video threatening to kill the president. And it's funny because I haven't heard anything from CNN or mainstream media about this, especially on the left side of politics. I, I wonder why the left uh, are not talking about Antifa threatening the president. It's interesting, isn't it? Who knows? Maybe they'll bury an article. They'll put an article out later today and give it five minutes of airtime. Who knows? But yeah, I haven't seen anything. So let me know in the comments if you have. One year ago, President Donald Trump told the people there were violence on both sides during the Charlottesville riots, which is completely honest. Those riots pitted neo-Nazis marching in the city against Antifa another, and other progressive groups. The powder keg was lit and both sides committed act of violence against each other. The riots left many injured and one activist lost her life when a white supremacist rammed his car into a crowd. Trump was attacked for both sides, comment in the wake of the violence. Uh, just on that too, look at the end of the day, I'm not going to justify what the, uh, the, the right does, uh, the alt-right especially, um, but there is an argument to be made saying that he was actually scared because they were attacking his car. I have seen that floating around and I do somewhat agree with that uh, we don't know because no one's interviewed him which is interesting um, but yeah uh, look there were definitely both sides of the part of the powder keg both were violent however in the year since the leftist violent tactics have been on full display in multiple arenas across the country riots and death threats have targeted Trump's officials ICE agents police officers and children a former Bernie Sanders staffer once, uh, once, stay again. A former Bernie staff, Sanders staffer opened fire on a group of Republican Congress baseball practice, seriously wondering House Majority Whip Stephen Solis. Sunday afternoon, on the one year anniversary of the Charlottesville riots, progressives, anarchists, black bloc thugs gathered together as so called Antifa again to counter protest the gathering of white supremacists in Washington, D.C. The leftist protesters far outnumbered white supremacists and mass members of the violent Antifa group could be seen everywhere. Many in the protest marched under the banner of peace and love, Trump's hate, while chanting love not hate. That's what makes America great. The armed, masked Antifa members and the chants of peace and love seemed Aesthetic. I, I decided to ask the protesters of what they would do when they were to meet President Trump. Specifically, I asked, if Donald Trump showed up here today, what would you say or do? The answers I received stunned me in a short time, the rally, approximately one hour, after a dozen protesters looked into my camera and threatened to physically harm or murder the president. Some said they want to do him like Gaddafi in reference to the Libyan leader that was dragged into the streets, beaten and murdered by his own people. Uh, so much for love and peace, I suppose, isn't it? i piss on his leg, I'd throw the fucking bell at him. Yeah, uh, we will do him like Gaddafi. If I got the chance, I would. Like, wow, this is the love and peace. Yeah, cool. Some protesters were armed as well. The masked man above had a visible knife tucked into his pants. There it is there. Others made violent slapping or hitting motions, demonstrating what they would do to Trump while laughing. Okay, so I will put a link to this article. Obviously, you can go through and you can watch the full video there. Um, but yeah. Um, now, obviously, look at the end of the day. The interesting thing that has come out regarding this is the Secret Service aware of Antifa threats to murder Donald Trump? Congratulations, Antifa. You're becoming public enemy number one. Multiple members of the progressive protest group who gathered outside the White House Sunday threatened physical, uh, President Trump with physical violence and murder. The Secret Service tells the Daily Caller they are now aware of the threats and are investigating the progressive pro uh, protesters. The Secret Service is aware of the incident. The Secret Service spokesman tells the Daily Caller 
clarifying that they cannot further comment on progress uh, protective intelligence investigations as a matter of policy. While the majority of those involved in the Sunday protests march under the banner of peace while chanting love not hate, that's what makes an America great. The protests peppered with Atticus, black bloc thugs and armed masked Antifa members. So, and this is basically saying the same thing as we've already talked about. So look, at the end of the day, oh, what's my view on all this? Look, to be honest, my understanding is that they could muster about 24 on the right side, the alt-right side, to turn up. Um, most of the people in the actual right side of politics was against the, the Unite the Right rally. A lot of them didn't want this to happen, including Gavin McGuinness. Um, and at the end of the day, I, yeah, I, I don't know. Look, at the end of the day, I think everybody has the right to protest. Was it a good idea for me? I, I would say no. I would say it's probably a bad idea for this. Um, but that's my personal understanding of it. Um, like I say, I don't agree with the alt-right 80% of the time. But, yeah, I, I would say, yeah, I would say probably a bad idea. As for Antifa, am I surprised? No. Um, I love the fact that they're going around chanting love not hate or love trumps hate yet they're the one that are filled with violence filled with with you know threats and 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 would quote do him like Gaddafi um, so yeah it, it definitely does show what the left is really like uh, and it's just another example of how people go through protesting saying chants that tend to mean them more than what their people are talking about. But as for these guys getting arrested, do I think they'll get arrested? No, probably not. Oh, I think they might get a call from the Secret Service or something like that. They might get a house call or something like that to tell them to pull their head in. But I, I don't think these threats were serious, quote. Um, so at the end of the day, yeah, I don't think the Secret Service is going to be rounding anybody up and throwing them in jail. Um, and and it's, it's ironic that the left seems very violent when they claim it's the right. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? But guys, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do you think that these guys are going to get arrested? Do you think any of these threats were credible? Or do you think they were just mouthing off with a camera? Let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. Apart from that, if this video has been helpful, please smack a like. If you're new, channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.